Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Touring. In this episode, I want to do an improvisation using Sverchok notes. Um, we will be using just simple notes. Um, normally, if are, I'm doing like a, an improv, we just use the simple notes like in this case, and gone and inset special. And this one was actually was inspired by artworks by Benny Goafford. And I think it's actually really, really interesting and simple, but the result can be quite intricate. So this is the basic setup, right? And gone will generate and gone. And you can have any sites you want. And on top of that, you have inset special. And what does inset special does? It does that. So basically it's like an extrude, except that you have control, a little bit more control over the inset and there's other things, but we don't need to worry. So let's save this as inset fractal. Save as. So what we want to do, uh, you, you can kind of look at this setup and then, okay, it's actually created this uh, thin surface based on flat. Maybe at some point we can use um, polygon, adaptive polygon MK2. So this one is actually MK2, I believe. So let's see how this works. Let's create another inset special. Look like that. Let's do this like four times. So now you, you you can start to see this can really generate something interesting, even though it's really really super simple. <clears throat> you can actually go inset and then go in go in instead of going up, going out. But we're gonna keep going. To have a nice result, we ensure that none of them, none of the extrusion is actually overlapping. Turn on cavity so we can see what's going on. So you can see, let's do this four times. Vertices and polygon, just vertices and polygon data going in many, many times. Okay, so that's what we get. Pretty simple but it's quite sophisticated and on top of that you can control this radius. It's a little bit like um, a cake. If, if I actually create a, a mirror modifier and tell it to mirror in z-axis, so we have like a kind of like a 3D and we can merge. Um, so if we have this and then Control 2, subdivide it, so we get this kind of result, which is pretty interesting. So with this, uh, we can perhaps further play around with it, with the idea. So here you go. Actually, we, we get overlapping. What's interesting with this um, is that we can we can expand and make it wider or less. It's probably okay to be overlapping actually, because at any time in point, at like I mean like any point in time, you can really just remesh this. Uh, we do we have remesh volume? Oh, okay, we don't have remesh volume in this version of Blender, but if you go higher. I'm using 2.81. If you go 2.82, we have remess modifier that works with a voxel, so we can actually print this out. Even though it's they're they're really overlapping, and so I'm kind of wondering if, if I should go one more. Let's do this anyway. You can of course do this kind of array. I mean, multiple nodes like this using uh, group nodes 
but for now just, just leave it like that interesting I wasn't planning to make this kind of look I'm kind of aiming more like a, not like starfish maybe a little bit like starfish but something that's a little bit more like Junji Ito Junji Ito is one of a uh, famous Japanese horror manga creator he makes a lot of weird things of course um, don't want to get get too much into it but it's basically kind of like horror in in details and it's actually really really interesting how you could uh, start with something simple and end up with uh, a lot of weird results like this in this case what does this look like it looks like a snow or it can be anything but yeah this is just basically just end gone and insert special it's probably one of the most interesting nodes despite of any others that um, that you can find inside special but on top of this like for every face you can actually use adaptive polygon and plug in the same thing this might be a little bit much but for now we can actually play around with this random file I think it's at some point I actually play around with the, the inset kind of animated so it's kind of like breathing yeah we can we can try doing that so try a frame info and then try a math node and here use a sine on and cosine so we get both at the same time and as the result we can we can map it into the inset so this should be like minus one and one because that's what the sine and cosine will give you and the output can be something that we plug into this guy so look at that we already end up with something completely different and we can make it kind of breathing maybe that's too fast let's use a multiplier here and just multiply by 0 0.1 so we have kind of breathing and that's the distance we can go actually yeah like I said we can actually go minus yeah that's kind of I don't know if this is kind of like a real design or just something that's completely random but it's still a very interesting setup let's try six for example and we still have control over the radius and on top of this like I said if we want we can plug this into something else so let's get rid of this so we have only a single surface file save as let's get a, a little bit too much let's simplify this a little bit Yeah, probably still a little bit too much but uh, we can plug uh, the original one so this becoming the recipient and duplicates the result let's hide the original plug this as the donor so adaptive polygon is basically like a tissue add-on But it's doing it inside spectrum so yeah you're gonna you can really end up with something that's really really wild looking it's almost like fractal 
something that looks really really complex yeah something like that so that's actually the first iterations of this this guy over here uh, all right we end up with a multiple objects which is interesting but we can always merge it and then we can mirror in the z-axis so we have we end up with this uh, like a fractal pancake or something um, yeah originally I wasn't planning to make something that's cool looking like this I was aiming more like let's see some kind of creature Let's see if I still have the blend over here. Oh, we can't, can't really see it. But I have a feeling that in order to make that, I just need to subdivide this one time and then use displacement. So we currently we have everything that's kind of hard edge. Um, but if we subdivide this, it's gonna end up with something that's a little bit more organic looking, like a creature. So it's really weird. And this is really looks like high resolution. Well, it takes a while. Let's let's actually open up Blender 2.82 and try reopen this. And then, okay, look, it's done. It's if I open up, okay, open up that blend. Okay, we have Photonoi Lotus. That's a different thing. Inside fractal. Okay, everything here seems to be broken because I don't have spread chop working on that for that version of Blender. Let's apply this modifier and assign remesh. Oh, we don't have it. We can go to sculpt and remesh. So let's sculpt and remesh with a smaller number. So this uh, will become something that you can print out and play around also with displacement over this setup. Oh, yeah, look at this. Displace. So displacement will give you something that's a little bit more organic, supposedly. But it's starting to look like a Junji Ito horror. Select this shade smooth. Yeah, it's it's like fractal pancake. Yeah, let me call, just call this fractal pancake. So we don't need to maybe don't go here. Instead, with this guy. Subdivide it. And over here, increase the radius. Yeah, I think the other day, this is kind of the result that I, I'm getting. Something that's a little bit more organic looking.
Yeah, probably I was actually doing this. Reduce the distance, insert it. So, yeah, it's now it's totally, totally a different look. This one go in or go out. Right, and then you smooth this. Oh yeah, slightly different. It's a little bit more like creature of some sort. So you can, I'm gonna save this as a different blend. So you can see a totally different design, same but the same, still the same setup. It's kind of a strange so probably we, we can end up with something that looks like starfish after all if we actually extrude it at the beginning just uh just extrude the leg yeah maybe i should try that but uh for now i'm just gonna leave it like this so this design compared to the one that we have before Maybe it's interesting to study this on why. Why is this possible? Organic and hard surface model. All right. Yeah. Thanks again for tuning in. Hopefully this is useful. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.